What's up? I'm Elsie. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. And today, boy, oh boy, am I excited. I have right here the Kylie Jenner 21st birthday collection. I know that on my channel before, some of you guys might remember, some of you guys might not know. I have talked about how Kylie Jenner and, or at least her brand anyways, Kylie Cosmetics. I haven't been a huge fan of. I just feel like their stuff is, um, you're paying for the name, not necessarily the quality. Not to say that the quality isn't there at all, but it just, there's a balance and some brands, it's just, you know, it, you know, you get what I mean, okay? I'm not a crazy fan of hers. I did not buy this makeup because I love Kylie Jenner. Although I do have to say that this collection, just like the Kris Jenner one, was unique. It looked cool. I loved the packaging, the design, the thought that was put into it. I really do love. And the Kris Jenner collection, I mean, <laughs> come on, it's Kris Jenner. What I'm, I'm not, just, I can't leave that behind. But first off, I do want to say that I got the 21st birthday bundle. Now that included mostly everything like most of the good stuff you could get the mega birthday bundle um four hundred dollars yeah no <clears throat> no honestly I know that like each product is priced individually so when they do a bundle they put it all together and sometimes it just equals out what they would all be together sometimes there's a little bit of money off but that was ridiculous to me and it sold out and I was like I also did have a bonus, the makeup bag. I did not know the bundle came with it until after the fact. I was looking on her Instagram and I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> so let's just get into this and yeah, I hope you like it. And um, yeah. So what I would like to do is I need to find my um, eye base and we're gonna start with the eyes. We're gonna do this palette. This is actually the outer box, the unicarton for the palette. I think it is really cute and really unique. I don't know. I really love the photo shoot she did for this collection. I just think it's fun, it's cute, it's great. And then this is the packaging for the actual palette. I really do like it. It's simple, it's pretty, it's got the names on the back of course this glitter is not no, 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 it is loose glitter. It is like when you did a craft project at school and you put glue and then you put the glitter and it's like the glitter still goes everywhere. It doesn't really matter that you put glue down. Yeah, all of the glitter and all the packaging, that's what you're getting. Anyways though, let's take a look inside this baby yeah so this is the inside of the palette and I just have to say that the colors look even more vibrant and they really are more alive in person I I think online they looked beautiful as well and that's what you know prompted me to buy the palette but I do think that man the shimmers look so shimmery and the mattes look so creamy and buttery but I am just I am just blown away I don't know but like it just looks so pretty. I think I could probably get away with this one right here. I don't know why, but in my viewfinder, it's kind of looking white. I'm using a new camera today. My other one broke, so I just kind of had to use what I had. So I hope everything looks okay. This is definitely a cream. So let's just give that a try. I don't know. So I'm gonna use my MAC 224, which I always use to set my eye primer. I don't know why, I just like to. And let's try to take a dip in here. Whoa, that picked up a lot. And there is a bit of fallout. I hope you can see that. There's a little bit of fallout, but from my experience with the Kris Jenner palette and the sort of sweet palette, is pretty normal for Kylie shadows to have that and you guys I shouldn't even have to say it at this point but in case you're new fallout doesn't bother me oh yeah that'll work nicely to set that base Ooh, this is coming off actually very peachy so I don't know 
I feel like it's coming off very peachy pink, so I'm actually gonna stop with that for now. I'm gonna take this white in my Kat Von D 10 year anniversary palette. I'm gonna clean off my brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and set my eyes really quick. What this shadow looked like after dipping in, it's got a lot of fallout on there, but like I said, this is pretty normal for Kylie Cosmetics. All right, so what I would like to do is I'd really love to do just something fun and, I don't know, just it's just fun, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead into this one right here. I'm taking it on my Morphe E27, which is a much softer brush, and I do see that the fallout isn't quite as bad. Let's go ahead and take it into the crease, girl. That pigment is there, oh my gosh. And it's such a beautiful shade of pink. Look at that, and it blended out really nicely. Hmm. All right, now on my Morphe M513 brush, I'm gonna take this shade over here, and I'm just gonna take that more on the outer part. Let's just see how it looks, I don't know yet. Ooh, that's really pretty, oh yes. I really, really like these two shades together. Oh, they're so good, yes. And I'm gonna bring that up over here as well, all the way in there. Okay, so I think I like how that looks. These two colors blended beautifully together. Like, oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and try to deepen this up a little bit and then we can move on to the next step. I think what I'm gonna do, I'd really like to try this shade right here. Maybe we'll get into the black, but I think that one is what we're gonna go with for now. Oh yeah, yeah, that's gonna be good. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Look at that. Okay. All right, Kylie. I'm, I'm warming up to you. <laughs> I'm warming up. All right, so I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I'm getting a little bit of patchiness over here. And I'm not sure if that's just me or if it's the shadow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same thing over on this eye. I'm just gonna build up the intensity of it and then we'll come back and see if we can fix some of that patchiness so far i want to say too i don't know if you can see it but minimal fallout what i would say is like standard fallout that happens on your face and even though it was pink and it was that darkest shade that i had the most fallout from and it didn't stain my cheeks we're good on that this eye i did not get any patchiness um i think it all blends out pretty nicely it looks pretty good but this side we got problems now because this side blended out really nicely and it looks good and I think it's all right I think that this might have just been my fault which happens sometimes things like that just happen you know and that's why I've said before you can't always judge the shadow too quickly so far I really like that those three shades that I used I think worked really beautifully they blended beautifully they work together beautifully it's not muddy I'm gonna use all the same shades on my lower lash line we're gonna just kind of blow it out a little bit and then we'll come back for the next step that I'm really excited about all right so I am back like I said I just took those same shades that I used and I smoked them out on the lower lash line now now we have something really exciting, something I've never tried from her brand before, and that is the Kylie Jenner Liquid Eyeshadow. Now this is in the shade Eat Cake. This is the, she had three with this collection, but this 21 bundle came with just one, which was Eat Cake, which I was really excited about because the other two looked pretty, but this one, this one was calling my name, as I assume it was calling other people's names as well. When you take it out, it is a doe foot applicator and it's kind of a paddle. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this first and just go right in for it, and then maybe if we need to, we can try a brush. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that is so pretty. That is 
absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm just gonna go in on the other side with this. Um, I don't think I need to really go in with a brush. I do have to say that you can maneuver it a little bit, but not like a lot. I'm kind of struggling, but not not like terribly. I've had some shadows, uh, some liquid shadows that I could not, like the minute I placed it down, it just would not budge. It wouldn't do anything. Do you know that she claimed that they have revamped them a little bit? So hopefully these are nice. Hopefully they don't get crumbly and crispy and just flaky and gross. Hopefully that does not happen. All right, well, I think we are done with the eyes for now. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes and all that fun stuff, and then we'll come back for a few more items. All right, so I am in the middle of using the highlighter. My audio literally just crashed. I have my computer right here that it's recording on. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. So I haven't even done this cheek yet, so all right, we'll do that, we're, we're doing highlighter, okay? This is obviously the Champagne Showers Pressed Powder Highlight. It is gorgeous, I think it looks beautiful. It is your typical champagne-y, you know, there's nothing crazy about it that makes it totally unique. I do think that it is kind of a unique shade to her range. So I'm going in with my Sephora brush, which is actually picking up quite a lot. And we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. It's got a lot of those gold champagne undertones. I feel like it's a little bit more on the gold side than some of my other champagne -y highlights, so, you know, take note. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit with this brush on this side. Ooh. Ooh, I like that so much better. I've never tried one of her pressed powder highlights, but like you saw in one of my other videos, I tried her Santorini loose highlighter. Not a fan. All right, so I feel like this video is getting a little bit long. So what I've decided to do, um, we've got a lot of lipstick options from this bundle. Now, I have never tried her matte lipstick formula, and this is in the shade, come on out. Ugh. She had a whole bunch of different colored tubes. This one's the purple one. This is the shade Rager. What I'm thinking of doing, all right, here we go, here we go, is I'm thinking of trying these out in a mini Instagram video. I'll do a little swatch video for you over on Instagram, and that should be up around the time this video is, or hopefully soon after. There are six lipsticks in here. I think some are velvets, some are mattes, and I just, there's a lot to do here, so. Yeah. Now let's go ahead into the lip kit. I've never used one of her lip kits, so let's go ahead and do it. This is the 21 lip kit. And again, we have this lovely glitter that is just getting everywhere. Everywhere. This shade looks really beautiful. Ooh, it looks so good. All right, I've never tried one of her lip liners before. I've never done this before. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys because you know how to do lips. We're just gonna take a look at the color and um, we'll be right, I'll be right back. Okay? All right, so what I wanna do is I'll just kind of start from the last product I used and we'll go up the line that way. Like, is that all right? Cause I kind of just want to talk about the lips real quick and then, you know, go from there. So this lip kit, this 21 lip kit, I think is a beautiful shade. It is a matte liquid lipstick and, um, I already know I don't like her formula unless it's changed within the last year or year and a half or something like that, then I know I'm still not going to. I have really dry, sensitive lips and I love, 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 love matte liquid lipsticks. They last so long throughout the day and just, they're just wonderful. Sometimes you get that really dry formula that my lips just can't handle. That was her formula. I'm not, there, there's no shade against the shades, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to say like the, the lips, well, the color isn't pretty. It's just, you know, we'll see how it goes. Maybe my lips have grown since then. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. The highlighter. I really, really like this highlighter. For $28, I think that's not that bad a price. It's a beautiful highlight. It does what it's supposed to do. Is the shade anything spectacular and out of this world? No, but I don't know about you. I'm kind of over the colorful, crazy highlighters are they beautiful yes do they work well for me yes I love them I have lots of them but I do really like this natural highlight shade 
you get what I'm saying. I don't know what else to say about it. You're getting quite a bit of product. You're getting 13 grams of product, which is pretty good. So yeah, I would say for 28 bucks, if you had your eye on the highlighter, you won't be disappointed. Oh, all right, yes. The next thing was the liquid eyeshadow. Her liquid eyeshadow, at least for this collection, goes for $20. That is a little bit pricey. I really do like it, but it's kind of, when I open my eyes, I have creasy eyelids, but not as bad as this is making making it look. It is creasing like crazy. Oh my gosh. It looks a little clumpy, but like not too bad. As far as how it looks, and especially when I first put it on, I love it. It looks so pretty. It's such a beautiful shade, but I, I just don't think that the quality is 100% there. I, I don't know. I do think that for $20, you could probably look elsewhere first, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, this palette, girl, if you need anything from this collection, you need either the palette or the highlighter for sure. Actually, no, I take that back. You don't need this. I, you don't need this. Will you enjoy it? Will you love it if you have it? Yes, but this highlighter is not a necessity. But anyways, this palette I think is absolutely gorgeous. I think it worked beautifully on my eyes. It's looking a little beat up at this point, but I think, you know, it's it's an eyeshadow palette. What are you gonna do? I really love this. I think it's gorgeous. When I look at this color scheme, I can just think of so many looks I could do and I just, I wanna do them all. <laughs> So yeah, I do think that the Sipping Pretty palette would be worth it. I do really want to say, though, that this palette is 60 what? $65 by itself? If you wanted more than one item, just get the bundle. Just get the bundle. Honey, get the bundle. Now, before we end this, the bag. I think that this bag is really cute. I, <laughs> I don't know why I need three Kylies on it, but like, hey, it feels like a good bag. There's like a little K on the zipper, which is kind of cute, and it's a really good size. I actually really love the size of this because you could fit some eyeshadow palettes in it, which I find really useful in a makeup bag. There's like a little pocket. I don't know. It feels like it's good quality. It feels like it's a good makeup bag and that's that. It's a makeup bag. Like, what do you, what do you want me to say? Whew. All right, well, I guess that is it for this video. Do I recommend this collection? Um, for sure, for sure. The only thing that I can't tell you right now 100% is the mini lip bundle, but if you've ever bought from her before, then I'm sure you know what you like and what you don't like of her lipsticks. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped you with making any decisions that you needed to make. If not, I just hope you had fun watching. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that bell down there to turn on notifications so that you see whenever I post a video. Anyways guys, until next time, stay flawless.